Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome to my all new Star Citizen beginner series based on the many changes in Alpha version 3.15. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And if this video convinces you to become a Star Citizen, please consider using my referral code, link in the video description below, and you'll be rewarded with an extra 5,000 in-game credits to help you get started in the verse. Next, feel free to head on over to my Discord, where you'll find me and many other Star Citizens who are willing to help answer any questions you might have. Oh yeah, the Discord link's down in the video description too. Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Well, the day has finally come. Thanks to all of you, all of your help, I have finally reached the Million Mile High Club. And <laughs> this, apparently the light is doing some strange things here in the game. Um, but yeah, a, a massive, massive thanks. Um, <laughs> I agree. Uh, massive thanks to all of you who have joined Star Citizen in the last year, uh, who've used my referral code. Um, as many of you know, when you refer a friend, uh, you build up points on a ladder, which you can get some free stuff. You can get free vehicles, free ships. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, well, in this case, access to the Million Mile High Club. So this is um, 1,042 referrals. That means I've helped 1,042 people join the verse in Star Citizen and huge thanks go out to each and every one of them. So if you guys are thinking of joining Star Citizen here sometime soon, use my referral link. It's gonna be down in the video description and uh, help me get to the javelin. That's the next step. Uh, 2017 referrals. So I've only I only need like 974 um, because I've actually picked up I think another <laughs> referral. Um, so and, and once I get there, I'm gonna start doing my best to spreading the love and um, you know sharing other people's referral codes to uh, help those out. Well, we're at Everest Harbor right now. And the Million Mile High Club is actually a physical club that you can visit in game, uh, but it is at area 18, but I wanted to go there in style. So we're gonna take the 890 jump. And that's a big ship. So it probably takes longer to deliver. <laughs> it's taking a long time. There we go. Oh my gosh. So wait. Docking part one. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot believe I have gotten access to the Million Mile High Club. Uh, everyone who's used my referral code, you guys are absolutely the best. Because this has actually helped me achieve one of the rarest honors, I'll say, in Star Citizen. So here's my 890 jump out here. We're in orbit over um, Hurston, the planet Hurston. So let's go out. Yeah, so I've heard estimates as low as under 100 people have access to the Million Mile High Club to around 300, to as many as 300. I don't know exactly what the number is. Um, I would have no way of knowing, but those are the estimates that I've heard. So not many people, when you think that, I can't remember if, if they have over 2 million or 4 million accounts active. It's a lot. Come on, open up. There we go. Stepping onto the bridge. Are we even powered up? I'll find out in three, two, oh, yeah, we're powered up. There we go, all right. Now, I think we have to request undocking. So let's do that really quick. You are 
So I'm going to go external here. Oh, gosh. That was a little janky. Oh, gosh. I'm looking at the ceiling. Oh, what a feeling. I'm looking at the ceiling. No, Brad. Stop singing. All right. <clears throat> so we're here at Hurston. We're going to go down to Arc Corp. Because that's where Area 18 is. And I'm going to start firing up the quantum drive as soon as I realize, or as soon as I figure out where. There we go. Oh. Wait. Where'd it go? Oh, there. There it is. <clears throat> All right. Oh, there is Everest Harbor. And somewhere down in these clouds is... Let's see if we can find it. Somewhere down here is um, Lorville. I want to say it's like right in there at the tip of the 890 but i'm not sure weird all right let's go Pew. see you later all right so we're gonna take the uh the jump over to art corp and uh, i'll see you in just a second And here we are arriving at Art Corp. Oh gosh, now we have to uh, cycle our quantum drive to get the new markers. Uh, I'm going to look around here using the uh, Toby Eye Tracker. If you're interested in picking up a Toby Eye Tracker for use in Star Citizen or many other games, I also have a referral link down in the video description, which saves you, I think, at least 5% off. They run sales all the time, too, so definitely take advantage of those because you could get as much as 15% off. All right, there we go. Area 18. We're almost there, guys. Oh! Oh, we got to go external. I wonder if I'll be able to see Bajini Point as we cruise on by. I think it's going to be kind of off to our upper left, maybe. Let's see if we see it. There it goes. There she is. Woo! That is so freaking cool. Now, I get asked all the time, Brad, where is the landing area at Area 18? Or where's the landing zone? Because they don't really make it obvious. Um, if you turn on your quantum drive... You're going to see Area 18 right here, but it basically points to the center of the city. So, um, obviously, you can't land in the center of the city. And if it's dark, or, or right now it's like really super hazy, it can be very difficult to see where the landing zone is. Um, but typically what you can do is you can fly over the uh the area 18 marker so let's see here yeah so there's the marker right down there the little home plate we're getting ready to fly over it here in a, about 30 seconds or so um and it's basically this big building if you see that little white kind of big it's probably like a big screen tv but right down there you can kind of see this greenish um, glow coming up from the underbelly of Area 18. And that's actually Area 18 proper. That's like the city area. But if you're over it, you can generally see this area that's directly on my nose right now. Um, in the daylight, it's kind of like a whitish and orangish colored um, big flat open area. 
and that's actually the uh, spaceport. If you look around in all the other directions, there's just kind of like urban sprawl, city sprawl, but this is actually, let me uh, pitch down here, and it is a little bit hard to see because we're coming in here, uh, I don't know if it's at morning or at night, but yeah, we're coming in here kind of at a bad time, but uh, that's it, and it says Area 18 really big on it. So that's another, another key identifier. All right, well, let's slow down under maneuvering speed here. Uh, and I'm going to hit my F11 key. We're going to attempt. Yep, we're, we should be able to get landing clearance. Uh-oh, voice glitched out there. And there we go. So I'm going to use um, hold F and zoom in with my scroll wheel. We can see the door right there opening up. I'm going to hit the N key to lower my landing gear because um, nothing is worse than touching down <laughs> with no landing gear. I think I'm gonna decrease my altitude here a bit as well. And I'm using all my brain cells to uh, concentrate on this landing. I've got all my good armor on, my best armor, and I don't want to lose it. Uh-oh. So I'm gonna switch over to VTOL mode. That should give me a little bit more control. Looks like somebody just took off there. Oh no. Let's see, are we still in cruise mode? No, we're not. All right. We are in the bugged hangar. I don't know why this hasn't been fixed. I remember this being an issue before, though I don't think this, I think we're gonna be able to get in there just to, just fine. So we'll, we'll find out here in just a moment. There's a building inside the hangar that shouldn't be there. So hopefully this doesn't explode us. And I'm going to kind of park at an angle like this. Shame on you, CIG. <laughs> let's see. Let's back up. Let's kind of go nose up a little bit. I think you can actually fly through this building. It's effectively like invisible. But... I don't want to risk it, so we're just going to land like this. And, oh gosh. Flying with the mouse and keyboard. Boom. We are down. Engines are off. Um, let's see how much fuel costs. Uh, 11000 857. All right, so that's for hydrogen fuel. We'll just go ahead and uh, refuel all this stuff. All right, we are all set. Let's go check out the Million Mile High Club. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm like losing my voice. I just, just not even a month ago, hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you to all the subscribers who've helped me out with that. Yesterday on August, oh no, this is, this is not the way I want to go down. What am I doing, Brad? Um, yeah, yesterday on August 5th, um, I 
received my physical YouTube play button. Oh gosh, there we go. The uh, <laughs> the the elevator sometimes disappears. Yeah, I finally have my YouTube silver play button. Maybe I'll throw a image of it in here really quick. I'm still like just unbelievable. I, I just can't even believe it. It's so it's just it's like a dream come true. So thanks to everybody who's subscribed and supported the channel. And then today, August 6th, I hit Million Mile High Club, which again is like, I never thought I would get here. Um, Million Mile High Club actually started out as a, I think a, a what is it? A Kickstarter backer. Uh, so if you were a supporter at the 10,000, I think I'm pretty sure it was $10,000 or more you would get access to the uh, Million Mile High Club. Well, after that, when they started the referral program, uh, you could no longer get access to it via Kickstarter because the Kickstarter campaign had ended. So they made it part of the referral program. But how many people, honestly, are going to get 1,042? I'm going to just store the 890 here. Um, how many people are really going to get that many subscribers? Oh, no. It's giving me this claim thing. No. It, it's not letting me store it. Well, I'm probably going to lose my 890, but we'll see. So just over the course of the, about the last year or so, I probably had about 10 or 15 referrals prior to that, but... I made some starter series videos just to kind of help you guys get started and, and really show off what the game is really like. Like not, I, I'm not like pulling punches. I'm letting you guys see what my experiences are like um, in Star Citizen and um, all unedited. I don't edit all the game crashes and all that kind of stuff out because I want to really set people's expectations as realistically as possible this game is an alpha there are definitely some bugs um some of them quite frustrating at times but um honestly once you play and you know, if you play the game enough and you learn how to work around the bugs um it's one of the best games in my opinion that i've ever played it's just Star Citizen rings all the all the bells. It pushes all my buttons, and uh, oh, it looks like it's morning. So there's the sun rising, or the Stanton, considering it's not our, you know, the sun of the Sol system. Is sun a generic term, or is it actually a name? I think sun is a name like Sol, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Flying through here, through Area 18, this, this brings me back to the the very first days of Area 18 when it was first inter, introduced into the game. And, um, oh great, now it's actually turning into a slideshow. But no, it's, it's so much smoother than it used to be. Oh, here's the area here. We're actually flying over it. There's Astro Armada and some of the other... A little bit. We're running backwards, but we're actually moving forward. <laughs> so yeah, that that's all area that you can explore. And actually, if you know my buddy was down on the the bridge there, they would they would be able to see me inside the tram here, like waving, like hey, I'm I'm arriving. Oh my gosh, we are almost a million mile high club. Oh my gosh. Here we go. I'm so excited. Now, I don't think I have like a like a pass card or like a key card or anything. That would be freaking hilarious if I like had to go all the way back to Lorville to get my uh <laughs> Remember, remember about not pulling any punches. There you go. Um, 
Let's see. We have to go into this building, which is the unmarked building. We've got TDD over there. We've got the hospital over and the um, the other zones there. Uh, we've got the city flight on that end, like, like that side, and then this is kind of like the administrative building, I guess. Not really sure what this is called. There is, um, let's see, is this, yeah, this is admin, because there are um, trading terminals there, but here, right over here, is the MMHC, the Million Mile High Club. And we should have access to it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is it. Call elevator, oh my gosh. Oh, it's working. IO North Live. So that's it. That's it. IO, I guess IO, the IO building. Input output. Oh my gosh. I've got the show. Oh my gosh. Here we go. My, my, my club. Oh my God. Oh. oh gosh. I thought I got stuck in the door. <laughs> um, so. Oh man. Hello, Clive. I thought you would be dressed a little bit more appropriate for this elitist endeavor. Uh-oh. And here it is, the mile, Million Mile High Club. <laughs> and it's got an 890 jump in there. Oh, this is nice. Honestly, it's a bit smaller than I had expected, but it's really nice. Like I like all the, the wood, the lighting is really nice. I mean, it doesn't have to be that big, I guess. There's only so many of us. Wow, this is cool. So yeah, if you've uh, used my referral code and you ever want a tour, uh, drop into my Discord and uh, be like, Brad, I demand you take me to Million Mile High Club. <laughs> and we'll get some people together and we'll come down here. Oh, look at this. Is that Terra? I think that's a mural of Terra, actually. Because it's not Area 18, because look, there's like moons and stuff. That looks really cool. We've got some champagne. Actually, that looks more like an alcohol bottle. What does it say? Vodka. There we go. Platinum rye. I know nothing about vodkas. Um, where's all the fish? That's a cool looking fish tank, though. What's this? The Kai Habitats. Oh, so this is probably like all of the information about the fish tank. Can I sit on these? No, I can sit over here though. Hello, gentlemen. Now these guys are probably usually walking around doing different things. Um, I'll be honest though, these don't really strike me as patrons of the Million Mile High Club, but hey, I'm, I'm not going to be that judgmental. Or maybe I should be. I don't know. We've got another fish tank over here. Man, that was like a big old fish tank. All right, so that's really about it. Let's see, what is this? A leather-bound Million Mile High Club menu. Look at that. Look at the detail. I actually want one of these. I legit want a leather bound Million Mile High Club booklet like that. That would be really awesome. But it has to be real leather. It can't be like pleather. Okay, I'm coming behind the bar. I've earned my place. What is it? Hippocampus? 
Mmm, hippo juice. Brandy Campos Caviar. What in the world? Wait, what's this? Shipside Friends Bitter. Oh, Bitters. New York Earth. Wow. Just the amount of detail in here. Hello. Don't look at me. Don't look me in the eyes. <laughs> That's terrible. Tavaran Ghosts. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, 62.5%. I mean, the amount of detail that that they put into this game is just incredible. All right. Well, guys, Million Mile High Club, if you ever want a tour, I'm your man. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much. Again, if you're looking to get involved with Star Citizen, uh, use my referral code when you sign up for an account. You get an extra 5,000 UEC at least. Sometimes they run referral bon bonuses where you get some extras thrown in. Um, and if you have any questions beforehand, by all means... Click my Discord link down in the video description. Join my Discord. I'm very active on there, and I always enjoy helping people uh, with any questions they might have about Star Citizen. So thanks for joining me today for my, my inaugural M Million Mile High Club visit and tour. I'm Brad M73. Thank you so much for watching Star Citizen. Check it out. I'll see you next time, and bye for now.